Hello. It's six in the morning right now. I can't sleep. I've given up trying and since it's so, I guess, early, I probably shouldn't even bother trying to go to bed at this point. So I'm going to talk a little bit. Actually, this is something that's been going through my mind a lot over the last few years. It happened to me a long time ago. I guess at this point, maybe like six years ago, but I still haven't really found an answer to it. So I'm wondering if any of you have ever experienced this sort of thing. And what I'm talking about are auditory illusions or audio illusions. I guess it would be auditory illusions. It's like not hallucinations because it's triggered by an actual external stimulus, but and not synesthesia either, because that was something completely different. And that I still kind of have, although I've been able to control it a little more than before. But a little background on the auditory illusions that I'm talking about. I don't know exactly how long I had it, like when it started, because I wasn't aware that no one else heard the things that I heard. But I guess in a way it started with the dishwasher. I would you know, turn on the dishwasher in my old apartment and every time it would run, I would hear Hootie and the Blowfish and then a woman singing. And whenever the woman would start to sing, that's when I knew that the dishwashing whole cycle would almost be over, when it would switch over to her. And I had no idea no one else could hear this. Because I would tell people about it. I would say, you know, it's the craziest thing. It's like I hear Hootie and the Blowfish. Like every time, like the dishwasher's running. And then I don't know if my friends were just humoring me. Or just like, you know, blowing it off, whatever. But they'd be like, oh, wow, that's, yeah, that's nuts. Oh my gosh. But, you know, it was just, it was so clear to me. And, you know, that went on for weeks. And it wasn't until I, I had a friend over and there was, you know, this vent that was up in the wall. And I said to him, if my neighbors play Paradise City one more time, I'm going to go nuts. And he looked at me and was just like, what are you talking about? And I was just like... You don't want to hear that they've been playing Paradise City all day on repeat the entire time. But it wouldn't be a whole song. It would just be like little bits, like maybe like like six or eight bars or something of a song. And he looked at me and he was just like, there's nothing coming out of that vent, just air. And I was like, you can't hear that? It's so clear. And then he looked at me and he was just like, Lee. There is nothing coming out of that vent. And then that's when I was just like, oh my gosh. And then I went over and I ran the dishwasher. And I was like, you don't hear Hootie and the Blowfish playing? And he was just like, no. There is no Hootie and the Blowfish playing with the dishwasher. It is just the dishwasher. So all of these different songs that I would hear really clearly, I had no idea no one else could hear them. But the, I guess the crazy thing about it was that they'd always be triggered by motors. And each motor had a specific song. So like if a car was driving down the street, I knew who it was because a specific song would play for that car. But at the time, like before I knew that no one else could hear this, I just thought that that particular person really liked that song. Because no two cars would have the same song. And I didn't always recognize the song. Sometimes it would be a song that I had never heard before. But it was nuts and it was terrible because I couldn't turn it off and it would be loud. Like if you're having a conversation with someone that was the volume that the song would be in my head. So that, I guess in a way it helped me in the long run because 
when I have to concentrate on something, and if I'm in public, I can very easily tune everything out because I had learned how to tune out the music that was in my head. But I wasn't able to do that until I realized that it was in my head and no one else could hear it. So I was able to control it a little bit. But after that had happened, like a couple of months had passed that I was aware that this was going on. A couple of months had passed and I developed a really, really bad migraine. I call it a migraine because it was one migraine headache that never subsided and it lasted several weeks. And that, that was just bad. Like, oh, I could do like a whole series on that. It was a bad experience. But anyway, long story short about the migraine. The doctor I went to, he had me on 13 different kinds of medications. And it made the music even worse and more intense. It really messed me up. The medications that he had me on. I think he was he was a really well respected doctor. That's a part that doesn't make much sense. Because he had me on all of this stuff and it was some really bad stuff that he had me on. But I was able to finally get off of that, like when my kidneys started failing and I lost a lot of blood. But anyway, I was able to get off of that finally, but the songs, like the music was still there, but eventually it went away. So I don't know, I don't know what brought it on. I don't know what ended it. I have a lot of speculations, but I'm not sure if that's what it was. Because when I moved, I, there was, because of really poor design in the apartment complex, there was a lot of mold that was in one of my walls. And this was discovered when I was moving because one of the walls just is completely covered with mold. And so my guess was that maybe it was mold that caused it, but I, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, Boopy, like, you know, Boopy wasn't affected at all by anything. And I would think that it would affect a cat before it would affect, like, an actual grown person. Small as I am, but still. I would think would affect him before it would affect me. I have no idea. So it's only a speculation. But if anyone else out there has ever experienced something like this, tell me. Because I haven't met anyone who has. And I know that I can't be the only person that's gone through something like this. So it's, it's motors tr triggering just anything in your head. For me, it was music. And it was never the same song. It was never the same song for other... Like, each motor had its own song. So no two motors had shared a song. No two motors shared a song. But I think like, people don't realize how wonderful quiet can be until you don't have any at all. Because you don't know how many machines are around you until you have music blasting in your head every time there's one that's on. So, share your experiences with illusions, visionary illusions or hallucinations. Then again, also, it's not a hallucination because there was a specific trigger every time. <sighs> or even synesthesia. I'll talk about my synesthesia some other time. Although it was really bad the other day. If any of you have seen that video, I'll talk about that video later. Oh my gosh, it's already been nine minutes. I'll talk about that later on. But, yeah, so tell me about your illusion story. Or if you know anyone who's had auditory illusions, let me know. Send them my way. I have questions for them. But... That was a bad time. That was a really bad time. I wanted I wanted to be put out of my misery. It was that bad. I couldn't sleep. Like, literally couldn't sleep because it was never quiet. It was bad. And even now, a lot of times when sometimes I would hear it, like my heart would start like racing because I'm afraid that it's back. 
and because like you think that you're going crazy when my friend told me that there was n there was no music coming out of that vent I almost felt like I was going to have a breakdown at that point it's just like what because it's like someone is telling you that your reality isn't there because I mean, it was just it was so clear it was so clear and this had been going on I, at that point in time right then when he said that I didn't know how long it had been going on because I didn't know any no one else could hear it so strange things that have happened to you strange neurological conditions that have happened to you go ahead and share